testing, testing, sound, sound. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Set up here. Okay, here we go. The school uniform and releasing trapped energy. Quote Creativity is piercing the mundane. Find Unless you're a kid and go to school in a place where they require you to wear the same exact uniform to school every single day, you have a decision to make on a morning by morning basis. Those kids, however, much as they may dislike the white button-down shirt and the khaki pants, or for the girls the pleated, usually plaid skirt with the white shirt, they have one less decision to make every single day. They don't even think about it. It's ingrained in them to not make that decision because that decision was made for them. Each morning there is then free space in their brains to make the next decision. For example, breakfast. That free space will make those other decisions easier. Easy. Let's do a little math. One, school uniform. Two, breakfast. Three, jet-fueled brain power. One plus two is less than three. How does my math calculate? Because one is no, is no longer a number. One is zero. We had to make zero decisions. Two just got easier because we had more room in our brain from not having to do number one, number two is less than two. As as number three is now a beast. Number three is power and knowledge and the unknown. As we make decisions, even the smallest of them, our brain gets better at it. It's a muscle. If we exercise it, it can get stronger. It also realizes very soon that when it doesn't have to make a certain decision, it can already shift its focus onto the next decision. And so on and so on. As we snowball the effect of not having to make decisions because we already made the decision or the decision was made for us, we get to move on to the next. If you think about this from a snowball perspective, as the snowball is going down the mountain and increasing in speed and size and volume and mass, it's getting bigger and bigger. It's also getting better and better at what it does. Can you see where this is going? After breakfast, you'll be solving the economic crisis in Greece. By lunch, you'll have so much extra brain power, you'll be hot on the trail for a new cure for cancer. As your decision-making expertise grows, even the bigger decisions will become easier. Ah, the day when you look back and sigh at all the energy you expended, you expended choosing between the beige socks and the brown socks. What does this mean in your everyday life? You can choose socks, you can choose breakfast. Not bigger decisions. What if we tackle those? What if we decide to lose weight, to stop smoking, to change our job, to make more money, to improve our relationship? We decide that on a daily basis to the point where it becomes no longer a decision and it is now past tense. The decision has been made, we can step forward 
into bigger and greater things. This is the power of decisions. This is the power of making decisions, sticking with them, and moving on. Moving beyond the decision. Increasing our decision-making, decision-making muscle. And to think it all started with a school uniform. One left decision to make. One seemingly innocent, simple decision less to make every day. What will be your school uniform? What will be the trigger that sets off the second decision? Because the first decision has already been made. Are you going to write that novel? Are you going to finally lose weight, kick the smoking habit, apply for school where you've been rejected before? What will you make it become? I'm going to read through this one for practice. The school uniform and releasing trapped energy. Quote, Creativity is piercing the mundane to find Unless you're a kid who goes to a school where they require you to wear the same exact uniform every single day, you have a decision to make on a day-by-day -day basis. Those kids, however, those kids, however much they dislike their white button-down shirt, pleated skirt, or beige pants, have one less decision to make. They don't even think about it. It's now ingrained in them to not make a decision because that decision was made for them. And will be made for them as long as they're at that school. Each morning there is now free space for their brains for different, better, hopefully bigger decisions. That free space will make those decisions easy. Let's do a little math. Number one, school uniform. Number two, breakfast. Number three, jet-fueled brain bower. Number one is now zero because you don't need to make that decision. Number two is easier, just less than two. Uh, one plus two is less than two because one no longer counts. The breakfast uh, school uniform decision was already made. Breakfast is easier because you now have the brain power to attack that question. And number three, it goes on exponentially from here because each decision that you no longer have to make climbs exponentially that your brain has more and more room for the next decision. Number one is done. Number two is easier. Number three is extra brain power. Anything beyond number three is better, easier, and double bonus brownie points stronger every day. As we make decisions, even the smallest of them, our brain gets better at it. It's a muscle. If we exercise it, it can get stronger. Can you see where this is going? After breakfast, you'll be solving the economic crisis in Greece. By lunch, you'll be cure finding a cure for cancer. All because a decision was made, done, out of your mind, out of your system. You now have the brain power to achieve what you thought you no longer had the brain power to achieve because you were stuck on which socks to wear. Oh, the day when you look back and sigh at the brain power you expended choose between the beige and the brown.
If every single morning you didn't have to decide whether or not you were going to continue on your weight loss regimen, you would have that much more room in your mind to, for example, think about new ways to make it happen faster. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. Let's see how that goes. It's rough. Ooh.